See what they got on them. Come on, hit it. Check them for grenades. Order! Yeah, Lieutenant? Did you order this attack? Well, I guess I did, sir. And what was the provocation? Provocation? Well, I took a look-see down the hill, and I saw about half a dozen Krauts. Now, the sight of Krauts always seems like a provocation to me, Lieutenant. Cover up those bodies with snow. And join me in that clump of pines. You got the word, girls. Cover them bodies. What's the scanning, Lieutenant? I don't want to have to remind you again, Sergeant, that this is strictly a recon patrol. We're to avoid all enemy contact. They saw us first, sir. Up there on the hill? If you were out scouting, you wouldn't have noticed. Ruskin Regiment. Yes, sir. All right, now hear this. Baker Queen 5 to Baker you Queen. You did a good job back there, but that's not what we came Baker for. Baker Queen, Baker Queen. As long as this weather stays socked in, the ski troops are the division's only eyes behind the German lines. Baker Queen 5 to Baker Queen, over. Hello, Baker Queen 5. This is Baker Queen, over. Stand by, Baker Queen. Baker Queen, this is CO Baker Queen 5. I'm on your map, 75D14 at coordinates K32 in six minutes. Over. Make your report, Baker Queen 5. Over. Engaged and destroyed enemy patrol. Shoulder patches indicate 7th Waffen SS. Any orders? Over. Condition static. You are to proceed as ordered. Over and out. <laughs> Permission to add, sir? No, we'll go on for a couple of miles, then we'll make camp. All right, let's move out. up here. Chow down, sir. Boy, the feet, the feet. It gets the feet. When I get home, I'm gonna buy me a hammock. Boy, I sure wish we could heat this stuff up. The only thing to do with sea rations is throw them up. <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant, sir. Yes, Grandma Sparker? Do you think them crowds is really getting ready to throw something big at us? I don't know. If they're going to, they better try it fast. The other side of that range is the Rhineland. 75% of all German war industry is centered there. Oh, heck, if we take that, we're showing up in the war. You say so, Grandma Sparker. Herman ought to know. He's been to military school. Now, what's the matter with that? And it ain't school, it's academy. Nah, I used to get you creds and basic. Big guns who've been play-acting captains and majors in school. <laughs> A couple days of my treatment shaped them up fast. Now, that's not right, Sergeant. All the teachers at our academy were Army officers. Now, I learned a lot more there than in eight weeks of basic training. Well, aren't you a smart young cracker? I wish I'd had you in my outfit. And what would you have done with them, Sergeant? I make them or break them, because the Army needs men. But it takes time. You can't make an Army man in eight weeks. Or 90 days. Okay, hit the sack. At dawn, we take a course of 96 degrees and head for Ridge 805. This road isn't marked on the map. Hey, what the heck is that noise? What the... Everybody out the road!
it fast. Looks like a big push, Lieutenant. The first indication of a Panzer division was at 50 miles of here. Baker Queen, this is Baker Queen 5. Baker Queen, this is Baker Queen 5. Over. Keep at it, Roos. They couldn't hear if you set off a cannon. And you're sitting ducks, So are we, Sergeant. Yeah, but I'd rather be killing crowds than sitting on my duck. Baker Queen 5 to Baker Queen. Baker Queen to Baker Queen 5. What do you want? Make it quick. Over. What's going on back there? Over. Don't you have ears, buddy? Over. This is CO Baker Queen 5. I have a Panzer Division 5 D14 at coordinates K34 in eight minutes. Over. Sorry, sir. The whole front is blown apart. I think regimental command was caught in the first assault. Over. And give me any idea of the extent of the offensive. Over. It looks like several divisions are pushing a bulge in the Ardennes sector. The whole front's wide open. They say von Ronstadt's directing it. Over, and I'm getting it out. Okay. And if you find anyone of authority, tell them I'm proceeding independently. Over and out. Show has gotten quiet all of a sudden. It's always like that, just before something happens. We can expect another convoy in a few minutes. Follow me, we're gonna have a conference. Conference? Lieutenant, you said we was gonna have a conference. That's what I said, Sergeant Potter. In the last 10 minutes, the situation has changed in every respect. Not only for this patrol, but probably for the entire Western Front. Now, there are two things we can do. We can turn back and try to rejoin the outfit, or we can keep going, marking the roads and scouting the enemy advance. Now, the final decision is up to me, but I'd like to hear any ideas you might have. Lieutenant, sir. Yes, Colonel Sparker? In my opinion, this patrol finds itself in a position of rare opportunity. We are in the rear of a disorganized front. We probably constitute the only reconnaissance unit available to the Allied forces. I think we should keep right on going, sir, and report everything we see. What do you have to say, Sergeant Potter? Well, Lieutenant, I think we ought to go back where the fighting is. Where any man with guts would want to be, sir. I can sympathize with your opinion, Sergeant Potter. Private Grammar Sparker's right. We do have a rare opportunity to report directly to headquarters what the Germans are up to. We're going to take that opportunity. We'll follow that road, marking it and scouting the enemy advance. We use the weather as a time limit. When it clears up and our planes are able to come over and scout, then we'll start back. All right, let's move out. Nice work, Napoleon. Well, oh, it's all right, son. Just a simple command problem. We can always get you a division, Grumble Spiker. All right, let's knock off the sky like in a nut. Over, I'm going to Miami. 
kind of nice. I remember one winter back in Salt Lake. You guys ain't seen nothing but you spent a winter in the stock yard. Woo! <laughs> be here in about a minute. There's no place to hide. What are you going to do now, Lieutenant? Well, what did they teach you about this in OCS, Lieutenant? There's a German patrol heading straight for us. Bruce, yes, sir. get up on that ledge. When the patrol gets near, open fire. Get moving. Good luck, Bruce. Now, the rest of us will go around to the right. As soon as Bruce draws her fire, we'll attack from the rear. If we time this right, they won't have a chance. What chance will Roos have? Let's move out. Everybody's food. Something amusing happened, Sergeant? No, sir, not thing one. We're out of rations, Lieutenant. Looks to me like we're going to have to go back, no matter what the deal is. Not at all. Remember that log cabin about three miles northeast of here? Yeah, I remember it. I know some shacks behind it. Look like chicken coops. I'm going to go back there tonight and see what we can pick up. Fried chicken? <laughs> well, shut my mouth. At ease, Bill Musbucker. Fall in and clean them pieces. Looks like we're going to stage a little attack on... Heidi and her grandfather. Now don't move, baby, just don't move. It's okay, Dodge. You speak English, Will Ann? Girls, Mark, and search for weapons. Check over the window. Americans? They're in Germany? I'm afraid so, sweetheart. This can't be. She's right. The Fuhrer promised, you know. Be gay, it's mine to leave him. The Haas and Pfeffer and the Wiener Schnitzel are the watch on the Rhine. What's that, Colonel Sparker? I said, how are you, sweetheart? The rabbit stew and the veal cutlet are the watch on the Rhine. You said what? Well, that's all the German that I know. You do speak English, Fräulein. Are there any German troops around here? Yeah. Many Soldaten. You had better leave. Stop! Easy, Sergeant. Man in the forest, there are hundreds of German troops. But you had better leave or you will all be destroyed. She's lying, Lieutenant. I know. Call her, Grandma Sparker. Take another look around outside, then get the chickens. Leave a couple for her. Hail to the conquering hero. Guys, don't 
damn chicken, she said. Whatever it is, it's against the law. shortened and adjusted. Carl will be home at the German victory in Moscow. Do you really believe that? Hitler has never lied to the German people. The new secret weapons are almost ready. And then you will see the trap into which you have walked. At this moment, von Upstead is crushing your Eisenhower. Soon the victory will be ours. Then we will have peace. Everything from my house. Soon I shall have it all back. From your house, too. I'll pick and clean it. cities and kill our children and then say we started the war. Why? Fräulein, you're Abel Sugar. As ape as that stinking creep you got up there on the wall.
boys. Merry Christmas. Thank you, Lieutenant. Likewise and more the same. With hope. Christmas 1944. The land of the Christmas tree. A little bit unreal. Yes, sir, it is. I'm looking forward to the next Christmas. In the land of the beer and the hot dogs. Uh, Hank, this is the land of beer and hot dogs, Sarge. What do you mean? Sure. Beer is the national drink. Hot dogs to Frankfurter. From Frankfurt. And hamburgers are from Hamburg. What? And sauerkraut is from Kraftsburg. Oh, yeah? Well, how about Coca-Cola? From, from Coca-Cola-sburg. Coca nah. <laughs> well, what did you see, Grandma Sparker? Grandma Sparker. I'm going to call you a hermit. Thank you, sir. I didn't see a cotton-picking thing. Hey, maybe we can spend New Year's Eve with the outfit, huh? Really, Sergeant? How do you figure that? Well, we've done our job and we've done our good. We've been over every inch of 75D14. We marked down every cruddy road and bridge and tunnel and railroad. We're done. And I drink to us. You're right, Sergeant Potter. You're absolutely right. We have finished with 75D14. Now take a look at 75D16. Six? Six? The Germans are still coming through. And it looks like they're coming through this sector. I want to find out where. Lieutenant, I don't see what... Sergeant, that... I guess I didn't make myself clear. We are going on, and we're going to avoid all enemy contact. Are there any questions, Sergeant? No, sir. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Get the patrol jets together. We're falling in spurs now. Make it fast. shells to blow up anything in sight. They'll be after us in a hurry, so we can't afford to leave tracks. We'll climb the face of the cliff and come down on them from the top, skipping the trail altogether. Yeah, but suppose the crops in the nets happen to look up. Well, we're climbing down the ropes. If that happens, Sergeant, you may have the honor of dropping the first grenade. How are we going to convert mortar shells into charges for the bridge? Well, I can handle that. I had demolition training. Give the kid an A+. Plus. Okay, let's get the skis hidden. In Russland, we 
Alter, das Essen den Magen einfriert. Ja, wenn du nur was zu essen bekommst. Wir überhaupt kein Wasser. Es ist schon besser gefroren, ich hasse schon. Das ist nicht gegen mich, das ist wirklich schwer. Gut genug zum Sterben. In Russland ist nichts außergewöhnlich. Ja, ja! shows up. What's this? Tell him I. Yeah, we can plant that under some road, Lieutenant. Sarge, we can use that to set off the charges. Set that on the railroad track, a train hits it. God, Blue Weed, that's all she wrote. Good. The tourist is armed. Pack it up and let's get out of here. Okay, take five. I hope you guys are good mountain climbers. <laughs> sure looks like Everest to me. I tell you, Sarge, I plum forgot my oxygen tank. One thing's for sure. If we can't reach the top, we can always reach the bottom. There's a shelf to the right of the bridge. That's our main objective. When we get there, we're on the mine and the mortar shelves. Check the stress points. Okay, let's go. Well, as General Robert E. Lee once said, off we go into the wild blue yonder. <laughs> We can blow it. We'll worry about them later. Come on.
was that? That was a grenade. Just blew out about five feet of ledge behind us. I don't think we'll have to worry about them Germans anymore, Lieutenant. Even if I do say so myself. You stupid bonehead, do you realize what you've done? Huh? You've cut off our retreat off this iceberg. How are we supposed to get back down the mountain? I'm sorry, sir, I didn't figure. You didn't figure. You better start figuring, mister. I've heard nothing but your big mouth talking about the regular army and how smart old sergeants are supposed to be. I hope you get smart by the time we're ready to go. All right. There's a shallow area at the end of this ledge. We'll make down our base camp for the attack on the bridge. Let's go. fighting these here crowds. And they couldn't make two bullets for every one of them. You know, but they could accidentally print your name twice. Koenig. Look, supposing the machine got stuck, see? And it began to print your name on every bullet. Miles and miles of bullets. Printed. Herman Grumblesbach. Huh? Now, come on, Yankee. <laughs> well, somebody just got a million dollar wound. Now, that wasn't no real hand. It was a real hand holding it. At least now we know we can go back over the gap. Now, keep this ledge covered. I'm going to get a closer look at the bridge. this ledge indefinitely as long as he watches out for grenades. Now, the bridge is about a hundred feet above us. Three of us will go on ahead tonight and arm the charges. As soon as it gets light, we'll find them on the bridge. Herman, I want you to stay here and hold this position while the rest of us go on ahead. 
Let's move. spot for finding the charges. Here, here, and here. I sure wish we could do it now, Lieutenant. Not do I, but it's too dark. When the first light appears, we'll plant the mortar shells. That's the easy part. The tough job is planting the mine on the tracks and getting back here before a train comes along. Okay, Lieutenant. But who plants the mine? Well, I won't order anybody to do that. Odd man gets lucky. I guess I lucked out. Oh, the mine granate. Ski. Swings a lot of bull, you know. The train hits the mine, it hits the batteries too. I don't see how it can miss. Yeah, what happens if the mine don't work? You sound like you hope it won't. Now, Lieutenant, well, I'd much rather be killing Krauts than messing around with this cruddy homemade bomb. Don't worry, Sergeant. You're gonna have plenty of fighting before we're done. And if nothing happens and they spot us from the train, you won't have to go looking for a fight. Lieutenant, I'm not worried. You'll find a place for us to hide. Pick up your stuff and move out.
Thanks, Lieutenant. Forget it. Sergeant, I'm worried about something. What's that, sir? We shouldn't all be out here without a guard back at the cliff. Oh, we'll be okay, sir. Grimble's that can take care of anything that comes up. We gotta set these charts. I guess maybe you're right. my signal to be sure you're in the clear. Yes, sir. From that tree over there, huh? That's the one. Now, you need anything else? Yes, sir. Have you got a parachute? <laughs> I'll see you later. Yeah. Take it easy, Jacoba. Thank you. 
Crowds finally got me. Did he make it? I think so. Hey, grab hold of this ski pole. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank <laughs> you. 